Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you a new app, a new way to install dot files. In that case the new version of the Hyperland starter package. The package, the perfect starting point for your Hyperland experiments. The new dot files installer app makes it easy to install the MyLinux for work dot files. But not only the MyLinux for work dot files. If you are planning to publish your dot files and want to make it easy to install for others, you can use the dot files installer as well. The dot files installer is still in development, will be finalized soon, but I think it's a good point in time to give you a first preview of it. The Hyperland Starter has been updated with a new waybar layout with a new terminal, I'm using NoKitty, and a new wallpaper. And the Hyperland Starter has now installation scripts, setup scripts for OpenSUSE, Fedora and Arch Linux. But with the DotFiles installer you can install the Hyperland Starter on all Linux distributions if the dependencies are installed upfront. You find the dependencies on the Hyperland Starter GitHub homepage. In the near future, I will also migrate the my Linux for work dot files, the advanced configuration for Hyperland, to the dot files installer. But not only that, I will reactivate the Qtile dot files from the past and make it also available via the dot files installer. This is a big step for me and the overall project. So please share your feedback, open issues on GitHub if you find bugs or have ideas for improvement. And with that, let's jump in. All right, let's install the Hyperland Starter dot files in the version 2.0, now with the new dot files installer. I'm booting up here in Tumbleweed, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, and I'm logged in into the GNOME desktop. So here we are. All right. First step is we need to open the browser and enter the URL of the Hyperland Starter GitHub repository. Here we are. Here is the new Hyperland Starter preview and you see here the new way to install the dot files. You can install these dot files with the dot files installer and this of course needs to be installed up front. I open the console. And first I have to make sure that curl git on v and wget is installed. So git is now also installed because we will the dot files installer will clone the repository. All right, we can now click here on that banner. And here is the home page of the new dot files installer and the installation is straightforward you can just copy this command go back to your terminal and paste the command in now the runtime environment for the flat pack will be installed and after that the dot files installer Perfect, that's it. And after the successful installation, it's recommended to restart, to reboot the system. Because then all the paths of Flatpak will be added correctly. And then you can launch all applications also from the starter. Let's see if it's working. Dot files installer. And here's the dot files installer. Perfect. Now let's open again Firefox. And we go back to the Hyperland starter and copy this command into the dot files installer and execute it. And all the information from the repository from the dot files will be now loaded. And you can say, yes, this is something that I want to install. And then you can click here on download dot files. The script has detected that the package has a setup script included to install the required dependencies. 
So, but you need to add the terminal command of your system first. So you can click here on preferences and click here on KGX because this is the command to execute the terminal here in OpenSUSE. And now you can click here on run setup script. Here's the setup script and I confirm the installation of the packages with yes. And all the required dependencies will be now checked if there is already something installed and all missing packages then will be installed afterwards. I need to enter the password here. And this also includes Hyperland and all packages like that are needed by that configuration. For example, Kitty, WLogout, Hyperlog, Hyperpaper, so everything is part of that setup script. And last but not least, also the Hyperland settings app. And I can close now that terminal. And now I can proceed here in the DOP files installer because the dependencies are now installed. I click on next. I can create a backup of the existing DOP bash RC. I can click here on next. Let's see if this worked. I open here the backup folder. This is the backup folder and here is the backups for the Hyperland starter package. Here is the backup and the backup is empty, but this is not correct but because when I show the hidden files, you see that here is the backup bash RC from your system. So let's close it for now. Here I can configure the new dot files. So I want to have the German desktop keyboard layout. Then I click on next, the rest is fine. No keyboard variant needed. The screen resolution is preferred and the default browser in that case is Firefox. I click on next. And now we are ready to install the dot files. I click on install now and that's already it. I can close the dot files installer. Let's open the dot files installer again because the dot files will be installed here in this folder. It's on home.my.files. You can configure this path also to your, to your needs. Also here in the preferences, here we are. Okay, then let's see if it worked by logging out Here is the Hyperland session and I enter my password and here is the Hyperland starter installed with the new dot files installer. Yeah, terminal is here. Let's see if the Hyperland settings app is working. Here is the Hyperland settings app, also there, perfect. And W logout. And the Hyperland starter is your starting point for your Hyperland experiments. Let's install the Hyperland starter now on a minimal Arch Linux system. So here, let me log in as a user. And first, we need to make sure that the system is absolutely up to date. Yeah, I have already installed Yay here on the, on the platform, so I just enter Yay and there are updates available and this needs to be installed up front. And the system is now up to date. Okay, so to run the dot files installer, we need first to have a window manager or a desktop environment. We use directly Hyperland to do this. So we install sudo pacman hyphen s Hyperland. We need flatpak. We need git curl wget. We need a browser and we need an editor. This is what we need. It's Hyperland, Flatpak, Git, Curl, Wget, Firefox and Vim. All right, done. So let's see if we can start Hyperland already with Hyperland. It's always a good practice when you install dot files that you test upfront if Hyperland is working and you see Hyperland is working fine. We are here on a desktop. Let's 
close hyperlint for a second again with super key m you can stop the hyperlint session and because i want to change something already in the hyperlint config and this is my keyboard layout so i cd into the dot config folder into hyper and you see here is the hyperlint conf with the whim hyperlint conf you can edit this file so i scroll down to the section where i can define my input here it is input i go with i into the insert mode change it to de and save the file again back so now we need a terminal i will install kitty as my terminal and now let's start hyperland again and with super key q you have kitty very good let's start the installation of the hyperland starter package we need firefox let's open firefox here's firefox and another kitty terminal again let's open the hyperlint starter repository with github.com slash my linux for work slash hyperlint starter with github.com my linux for work slash hyperlint starter here we are let's scroll down you see this can be installed with the dot files installer i will click here on that banner and can install the dot files installer with that command copy here's our new terminal i paste it in and click return password is needed the environment will be installed and here we are the application is now installed and let's open the application with the command flatpak run and the id of the application com.mylinuxforwork.dotfiles installer and here is the dot files installer let's make the window a bit bigger because the screen resolution is very low at the moment so let's go back to the to the hyperlink starter page and you see here here is the command for the dot files installer i copy that command and paste it in to the dot files installer all informations are here before we proceed i open preferences because i enter now here the terminal kitty as my default terminal and i click on download dot files dot files is there downloaded we can run the setup script because it's part of the package kitty opens in a new window and i can install the required package packages the dependencies for the dot files plus the hyperlink settings app all right installation of the packages is done and we can click on next we create again a backup for the existing files I click on next i change the keyboard layout to the german keyboard layout the rest is fine i click on next and i can start the installation of the dot files perfect let's reboot the system i log in and I start hyperlint with the command hyperlint. And here are is the hyperlint starter with the latest version of hyperlint. And everything is working fine, including Rofi, the hyperlint settings app. And we have also Thuna as our file manager. And with super key return you open kitty so everything is working fine easy to install with the dot files installer and that's it a first preview of a new app the new dot files installer app which is available now for you for testing but i said it's still in development bugs 
and unforeseen issues can appear. So please share your feedback on GitHub and help to improve these applications. In the next video, I will give you then an overview how you can create a configuration and for the dot files installer to publish to provide your own personal dot files to the world. And with that, see you next time.